hello friends in this video we will see how to draw a cylinder in the isometric projection so suppose I want to draw a isometric cylinder of say 60 mm diameter and 80 mm length so firstly we will prepare a rhombus of 60 mm length that is rhombus size should be equal to the diameter size of the cylinder so firstly we prepare that So like this prepare a rhombus of 60 mm size then I assign point name to this rhombus as O P Q and R then locate the center for all sides of this rhombus that is at 30 mm for this Then join these centers with center line. Out of these four angles on the rhombus, that is O, P, Q, R, there are two obtuse angles are there, that is P and R, and two acute angles are there, O and Q. Now we are going to draw the lines through obtuse angle on the opposite face centers. So it means through P angle, we will draw the line on opposite face center, that is O, R center and Q, R center. Similarly, through another obtuse angle that is R, we will draw lines on the opposite face center that is OP center and PQ center. Now see, in this we will get four centers. The first center is that is the, uh, itself the obtuse angle that is P and R. The second two centers are the intersection points of these two lines. This is one and this is second. By using these centers, we'll draw then the isometric circle. That is by using this P as a center and this much as the radius. Firstly, check for this center, then draw it. This is the first one. Then use R as the center. And this much as a radius. Then this intersection point as a center and this much as a radius and lastly this as a center 
this much as the radius draw the last curve so like this we'll get an isocircle in the isometric now we are going to convert this into the shaft so suppose we are going to draw a shaft of ATM length so draw this shaft will be on this side that's why draw parallel to this line and tangent to this ellipse the lines which is having length equal to 80 mm so this one first line similarly from the opposite side it should be parallel to this we should be also having the length equal to 80 mm Now we know that our this face will be parallel to this surface that is outward surface of this ellipse so to draw this surface of an of this ellipse we use for this surface we use this center p so we are going to shift this center also in this direction that is parallel to this by the length of shaft that is 80 mm in this direction similarly for this much portion we use this center so this center and this last center will shift by 80 mm in this direction so we'll firstly transfer all these centers by 80 mm distance so we will shift the centers this firstly we shift to the p center parallel to this line by 80 mm distance because the length of shaft is 80 mm then this center also by 80 mm by using this method there is no need to construct another rhombus for the back portion of this cylinder now we'll use as we use the p as a center to draw this so now we use this center to draw parallel curve to this and radius equal to this much then we use this center it means this center and radius equal to this to draw this much curve and this center by using this much radius to draw this curve and complete the back portion of this cylinder so firstly I take this much radius in compass and this as a center and I'll draw the curve approximately up to here then by using this as a center and the same radius because these two radius are same this one radius and this radius these two radius are same that's why I directly draw this then take lastly take this radius and this as a center complete this back portion of the cylinder like this see here here is complete cylinder will be complete here so in this because of this method there is no need to construct another rhombus for this back portion of this cylinder thank you students if you like this video click on like button share my video and subscribe to my channel thank you